Hello, spices. Okay, so here we are. We're at the sink, and I've got a uh, like a hand towel folded up at the bottom, and it's got some warm water in here. And the towel at the bottom just helps their feet not slip, so they feel a little more secure. I also have a cup and some washcloths, and I am using this soap here. This is a pet shampoo bar, so I'll be using that to get the gunk out of her fur. So first, what we're gonna do is just gently lower her down into the water and let her get used to this there you go see she's doing really good so far and i've got these cups here just to kind of pour the water over her and this helps them get used to being in the water and understanding that this won't hurt them um, you can use like a little sprayer but i would suggest if you need to do that i would wait till the end because you don't want to get them all upset, especially when they're this little. And uh, we're just going to get all the way up under the chin. And uh, you just don't want to get it in their faces, like in their down their nose. Oh, got on her ear. The ears are fine. You can get their ears wet. Yeah, she's doing good. Good job. Good job, baby. Okay. And you just want to make sure you get them wet all the way through. And because of her thick coat, you can see these are... The fur looks like this because it's actually dry. The water runs over the top and underneath she's still dry. So because of this, um, it's a really good idea to do the shampoo and rinse twice. Because the first time the shampoo, does, the water doesn't penetrate all the way down. I like to sometimes turn them over like this to get underneath to get their bellies really, really good. Because the, the fewer times we have to go through the bathing process in one sitting the better. Cats typically run out of patience at some point and then you're just fighting them at that point and you know it's better not to get to that. So what I'll do here is take a washcloth like this and get it wet and I'm just going to rub it over this shampoo bar and that's going to get the soap all up here. See it's all in the, uh, the washcloth now. It's going to suds up real nice in there. I'm just going to start scrubbing her to work that in. And then you can take your fingers and work it into her coat a little bit. We're just going to go all over her with that. And I can take the bar in the washcloth like this. And turn it over my hand. I'm trying to keep one hand on her and one hand on this. So I'm um, just going to rub that all under her arms and her belly. And around her feet because their feet are very dirty yeah. and here I can feel there's still dry spots I'm gonna try to really work the shampoo into that because I'm gonna have to rinse her and then do the shampoo again because her fur is just too um, too dense we can also put the shampoo directly on her as well it does not need to go to the uh, washcloth first if she'll tolerate it and you can see it's sudsing up nicely you gotta really work it into their coat. Oh, watch out, baby. And I can still feel dry patches, so we're definitely gonna do this twice. I don't wanna, because you don't wanna risk there being um, any dirt left over after you're done. You know, you go through all this, then you find out there's dirty patches. It will sort of undo all the work you just did because the dirty coat will hold moisture. It won't get dry properly and you can you can actually make the problem you know worse uh in some cases so all right baby sit down all right we're gonna rinse off this water or the soap i mean we're gonna rinse off the soap doing good all right this is second baby this is second i may need to dump this water and refresh it that's fine if we do that okay Now that we've done that, I can feel the water has gone through those dry patches in her coat now. The soap really helped us get down into her coat. So I'm gonna get the soap again, and we're just going to scrub her really good, get underneath, 
and I'm working quick because, like I said, cats don't have a whole lot of patience for this, and I don't want her to start freaking out because she's because she's done, you know. All right, now that I'm now that I'm doing this, you see how much better that lather is. You see all those bubbles. That's because the first time we were just getting off all the surface dirt. Second time, it's really getting her clean. I know, baby, it's weird. I know. Just a second. It's baths are weird. I know. All right, let's get your tail. Oh, hold on. We gotta get you. We gotta get your tail, baby. Get some more soap on there. Okay. Yeah, that's bubbling up much better. Let's get your back feet. Get the back feet. Get a little more soap for your back feet. Okay. Alright, there we are. That's better. Now I can feel the soap all all the way through her whole coat. We're gonna rinse her off one more time in this water. Then I will refresh the water and get everything out. And also for around her face here. This is not a tearless shampoo, so I will carefully get this soap worked into the fur around her ears because that was really gross earlier. It was, um, you could feel the grime around there, but we have to avoid her eyes. And then I'm just going to carefully rinse out that. Okay, let's get the other side. Let's get the other side, baby. Yeah, you don't want yucky ears. No, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. So you can see how if you start kittens when they're young with these baths, then in the future, if you ever need to bathe them for some reason, it will be a much easier experience because they won't be scared. They'll know what's going on. This will just be a routine part of life um, and it won't be nearly as traumatic for them when they're older. Okay, let's get the back here. And that is, of course, assuming that the cat is the type of cat that will need to be bathed. But sometimes you don't know, you know, sometimes illness causes it. Maybe they have a skin condition where they need a medicated shampoo or, you know, something else. And there's a legitimate reason to bathe them. And uh, in those cases, you know, again, it's, it's good if the cat is used to this. So this water will drain out pretty quick. Yeah. And I want to see if she'll tolerate just being rinsed underneath the faucet. Because that will be a lot faster. I know she doesn't like the sound of the water, so we'll see how she does. We want the water warm but not hot. There, okay. Let's try. There you go. Let's get that. I'll get it in here. Adjust it a little bit. There, that's better. There. Good job, baby. Good job. Get underneath here. Good. Good job. Okay, so now that now that she's been rinsed in clean water. And um, I'm gently, what I'm doing now is I'm just gently squeezing like the fur, not, not her actual arms, but like the fur around her. Um, she's got such a thick coat, it's very easy to just gently push the water out of her without, you know, squeezing her directly. You get down to the tail and you can kind of gently squeeze the tail and get all the water out. That will save a lot of time when you have to dry her. So, uh, so hopefully this was in frame. I'm sorry. Let me move her down. So just want to gently squeeze her, gently squeeze the fur, and get all the water out as much as you can. It's kind of like a squeegee motion. You just want to squeeze the water out. There you go, baby. Good job. And then you want to get a big towel. Don't shiver, baby. It's okay. Just in time. She's getting cold. Okay. So we're gonna wrap her in this towel. And we're going to go get her dry and warm right away. So we're going to go do that and we'll be back. All right, here she is. What's up, little ball? She is all clean now. Her fur is no longer sticky and gunky with all the junk that was on her. There you go, baby. She's still a little bit shy. And we have a little helper. Helper baby, come on. You gonna help her get clean? Come on.
So she's much fluffier now and so, so soft. She's like a cloud. Her fur is so thick and soft. You can see she's going to be beautiful. She already is beautiful, but when she gets older, she's going to have a long, beautiful coat. And now I just have to do this five more times for all of her siblings. <laughs> 